Hello class, in this video we're going to be starting to create a document that has more meaning to it. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to set up MLA format. So, um, just a few quick things first. This is what's called a comment. Essentially, if you want to write little notes so that you know what you're doing and you can like label what's happening, write a comment. Actually, I highly suggest doing that. You can also outline things. Um, you can use what's called a block comment. So notice that if you just press enter, it doesn't work. It's no longer a comment because it's not gray. If you do if false and then F fi, then you can write some stuff here. You can do as many lines as you want, and that will all be commented out. So I'm going to type a few things here, then I'm going to begin a document and show you the only the thing that said begin document and after begin document is going to show. But nothing that was between if false and fi is going to show. So notice the only thing that shows is hi. That's the only thing I wrote in the document. You can do if false and fi in the document as well. You don't have to do it in the preamble. All right, so let's get some actual formats going. Times New Roman, that's what you need for MLA format. Here's how to do it. Okay, and then what else do we need for MLA format? We need margins. How big are they? One inch. So one inch all around. You got this. And then now you need to double space the entire thing. So this is actually pretty easy as long as you just write the correct things. That's how you do it. Use package set space and then double spacing. For the header, um, yeah, here's this code. I don't suggest just typing it all out. I have a copy of it in my, um, what is it, school website. It's at the say.k12.ca.us website. So just go over there, look for me, and there's an MLA format template thing there. So let's see, I'm just gonna delete this code down here. That's kind of irrelevant for now. You know, just so we can see this whole thing. So you can copy the code there or you can just write the whole thing if you want here. And one thing I just want to make sure that everyone knows, change that. Don't leave last there. So make sure you notice that. Okay, so let's also start the heading. So you know that you're going to need to have something flushed toward the left. So left justify is also what it's called. So I'm going to write my name. And then I just put a random professor at UCLA's name. So Terrence Tao. And then math 240A, I think that's something, probably, I don't know, just random number. And a date, let's see, 1st of December. Uh, why not use 2018? Okay, and I like to put a bunch of space here just so that you can scroll up and down a little more easily. Begin center, now we're gonna put a title. Um, This is a creative title. Then we can compile this and just see, first of all, what do we have now? I know I just did a whole bunch of stuff, so let's just check. All right, so we have name, title, header, all there, all those elements. There is a bit of space over there. You don't necessarily want that too much, but don't worry about it for now. We'll do with that in a different video. There's some code that will actually get rid of it. Okay, so let's try typing things now. So something that might be interesting is to type a quote. So you might want to do this. Um, Hi, my name is Hedgy, and this is my say story. And then you just put a dash. And then Hedgy, that's the person that wrote it, or animal. So, what you might want to do is um, basically press enter. Like, so if you actually just press the, the enter button, it doesn't work, as you probably saw earlier. But now it does. 
if you do that double backslash. So you see how hedgy is there um, on the left? You, you don't exactly want that. You want it more on the right. That's just standard format. So let's do indent and H space. H space just means horizontal space. I put 10 centimeters. Let's just see how that goes. Too big. Let's make it eight. Let's see how that goes. Okay, it's just seven. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so let's see. Let's just type some text here and make some stuff work. So I'm going to show you how to use LaTeX. Da, 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 da. So let's just improvise some words. Um, I'm going to be typing a lot of stuff here just so that we can see what it looks like when this goes onto a different line. And notice I didn't do double backslash here. I actually just kept writing. So you'll see what's happening. But I did put two spaces. So let's see, let's see. I think this is about enough. Then, yeah. Compile. And look, it's already indented. So that's nice. So I didn't have to write backslash indent. I just made the thing go down twice and then it automatically indented. That's nice. What if you didn't want it? Then you can do no indent. Make sure you backslash it too. And then we get this. Okay, so let's try another thing. So I press enter twice. So again, just to emphasize, you can just press the enter button twice and then that'll be the same thing as doing double backslash, essentially. All right, let's type some more text. Mm. Yeah, so just explaining some of what I'm doing, seeing how that goes. And yeah, so let's just check to see if everything is exactly as we would like it to be. So the indent, that's fine. Let's compile again. Yeah, now we can really see that indent. And let's see, do we need to fix anything? Do we need to deal with any other things that are there that maybe need to be tweaked just slightly. So let's zoom in, because you can zoom in on here, which is nice. Notice that that quote isn't the usual open quote. So you're not going to want to use that. You're going to want to use this. So in order to type an open quote, you actually need to type the button. So if you look at the, the key for one, it's next to it. It's um, technically on the left of it. So going to specify that key to the left of one do that twice um, and then that's going to give you the actual open quote depending on what font you use it actually might not matter but for the most part you're going to do that actually if you see that double whatever that character is called in a website or anything it's probably typed by a mathematician because they're used to latex all right, so that's it for this video. We're going to go more into the math stuff and things like that in the next video.